Ashley writes the equation below. So here's the equation. Let's look at it. It says 60 times 3. That's in parentheses. So that comes first. Then times 4 will be equal to 60 times parentheses blank times 4. What number should be written on the lines on the line to make the equation true? And then explain why your number makes sense or why you think this is correct. Well, there's a really cool property in multiplication. Let's say I have the numbers 3 times 2 times 1. What's that equal to? Well, 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 1 is still 6. Now notice what I did in my head, or what I said there, was 3 times 2 first. So, I can put parentheses there. In other words, solve those two first, multiply them, then multiply by 1. But what if I did it like this? 3 times and then 2 times 1. Well, now this means take 2, multiply it by 1 first. Okay, well, 2 times 1 is 2. And then multiply 2 by 3. What do you get? Well, you still get 6. These are the same. The name for this is called the associative property. Associative property. Now, the associative property works when you're multiplying all the numbers or you're adding. So it works for both multiplication or addition. Right, but you can't mix them up, multiplication and addition. It's got to be all, all multiplication or all addition, right? So here we have all multiplication, and that's all we need to do. We don't even need to figure this out, right? In other words, we don't need to take 60, multiply it by 3, then multiply it by 4. All we have to do is rearrange this and put the 3 here. Because all we're doing is regrouping. In the first case, we did 60 times 3 in parentheses and then times 4. Well, that's going to be the same thing as, well, first doing 3 times 4 and then multiplying that by 60. How do I know that? Well, because I know the associative property. And that's what you can, you can say down here. right? You know the associative property. The word associate in associative, right, associate, you can think of what this means at, a, at like a party with friends or if you're at a party with a family, right, associate is who you're hanging out with. So associate is all about hanging out or grouping. And that's what you're doing with the parentheses. When you take 60 times 3 and put the parentheses there, you're grouping them together first. They're associating together. And then they're associating with 4. But here, this other side of the equation, first we're associating 3 times 4. They're hanging out together first. Then we're multiplying by 60. That might help you remember what's happening. Associate means hanging out. Parentheses tell you who's hanging out first. Changing the grouping, as long as you're just multiplying or just adding, won't change the answer. Now, let's go back to this. It says, what number should be written on the line to make the equation true? Well, I said the answer is 3, but I want to explain why. When they say this, to make the equation true, um, you might not realize this, but this equality, or the equal sign right here, is telling you that this side of the equation is equal to this one. For example, let's say I had 2 plus 3. Well, that equals 5, and that's, that's an equality. And you accept that. It's saying both sides are equal. Now, if I wrote 2 plus 3 equals 7, that's not true. right? In other words, not true. In other words, 7 is not the same thing as 2 plus 3, so it's not true. Here, this is a true statement. right? 2 plus 3 is 5. So, we're trying to say... What number can you put in here so that both sides of the equation are equal? And that's what we're doing. Now you can test it out, but you'll find that no matter how we multiply these in any order or any grouping, the associative property, um, you'll get the same answer. Uh, another alternative might be the commutative property. If they ever give you that one, commutative property. They, if they ask you about a question where they have the order changed around, so instead of 3 times 2 times 1, they put... 2 times 1 times 3, or some other order, you should know the answer will still be the same. You'll always get 6. Well, when you change the order like this, that you write the numbers, as long as, again, you're just multiplication or addition, that's a commutative property. That won't change the answer as well. So look out for that one, too. Thanks.